Today I have a success story to share with you guys and this client, she was in no contact with her specific person for almost three months. And although I have been getting a lot of success stories, I really felt called to share this story today with you because I've been getting a lot of comments saying, does this still work if I haven't talked with my specific person in a month or two or three or six or a year? And I wanted to know time is not of relevance in manifestation. It's all about a shift in your awareness, a shift in your consciousness. When you go from the lack of communication to the fulfillment of your desire, that's what you're looking for. And this client, she was always so happy in hearing the success stories from other people. She got motivated with these stories. And now she's one success story too. And she was like, you can share this. I've always been motivated by others. Now I want to motivate others too. Okay. But before I get into her story, hello everyone. My name is Al and if you're new here, Welcome to my channel. Grab a cup of tea, a cup of water, whatever you want, and let's get into this video. A little background to my client and her story. So we started working together, it was mid-December 2022. And the circumstances in the 3D was, her SP was going or had been going through a very messy divorce. And in that moment, she was in no contact because she had given him practically an ultimatum. So she told him, this is what I expect. This is what I want from a relationship. And she got no response. So during the call, we talked about a few things, a few stories that she had in place, but also self-concept blocks that she had that needed to be worked on but also the time situation and her impatience. So after talking about all of this, we put a plan into place on how she would work on this. And by the way, if you're going through the same thing, if there are things that you know, oh, I have been reacting a lot emotionally or I'm very impatient or stubborn and I want to change this, the way to go about this is manifest it away. Use your imagination to create a different outcome, okay? It could be as simple as a conversation with a, with a friend of yours where they admire you for being that patient person, okay? For being more laid back and for being more positive or whatever you want to experience in the 3D, whatever version of yours you want to be in the 3D. It may sound quite simple, and it really is, because a chain of events is going to unfold to show you that you already are that version of you that you want to be. So last week, we had our second call, and it was about a month after the first call, and she was a completely different person. You cannot imagine, but she was very peaceful, you know, not worrying about time. It was a completely different vibe than the first time. She was clearly in the Sabbath state, which is a state of mental rest. She even said, you know, I don't feel like affirming or visualizing for him anymore. I feel like it's done, so it's done. And it was amazing to see these changes, but the thing is, it wasn't just an internal change. It was already showing up in the 3D. Many exes were texting her. People were stopping her on the street. And she was getting compliments from everyone around her. So when I heard about everything, I was like, yeah, it's happening. It's done. You know, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up very soon. And guess what? Three days later, not only he texted her, but he went on a plane. He jumped on a plane to see her. So let me read a few bits of her email for you so you can hear in her own words what happened. I have good news and a success story for you. So on Friday, I was almost triggered by the 3D, but I persisted. I used all the tools I have been practicing over the two years. 
Also, you posted a video about the time I was really in need of a pep talk. It was exactly what I needed to hear about the old state being dead. I felt invigorated by your video and I actually gave the exercise you shared a try. Instead of focusing outward, I went inward. I wrote a mock text in my phone of what my SP texted me to my response in November instead of dwelling in the no contact the 3D was showing me. I repeated a few self-concept affirmations that reminded me I am the creator of my reality. I wrote the text at 3.35 p.m. on Friday. I was sitting in my office making a call to my mom to laugh about an ex who had texted me and while I was waiting for her to pick up, I got a bus that I received a text and I couldn't believe my eyes when it was my SP. He also used language I used in my text asking if I could talk. His text came in at 4.30 p.m. He and I spoke. He asked what my plans were and we made plans. I spent two days with him and he opened up and mentioned wonderful things that support the end I have been living in. I didn't have to manipulate the 3D. And later in her email, she says something. Let me see if I can find. Um, okay, he mentioned when we start our family, when I meet his friends and open up about his emotional attachment and healing old wounds, which I affirmed about, and plans to go to therapy and show up to meet my emotional needs. Later, she also shared something. I affirmed that he realizes there's more to life than working and traveling and money. And he literally said, money isn't everything. And he was tired with traveling. She got a lot of success in this manifestation. She went to the end. The end is a relationship with him. And not only he contacted her, but he contacted her changed. You know, he was exactly, he was saying exactly the things that she had affirmed for, visualized, scripted about. He was conformed, but that was the result of her own work of changing the stories that she was telling herself about herself and about him. The most important lesson, in my opinion, in this story is the power of the Sabbath state. You know, it's the power that you get through relaxing, through finally achieving that peace of mind. So working on her self-concept allowed her to achieve that situation, that fulfillment, the fulfillment of her desire, even though it was not in the 3D yet. Working on her self-concept allowed her to fulfill the need that she had and that was being expressed in that relationship. In a matter of weeks, she released neediness, obsession, etc. She realized, hey, even though I prefer that person to experience love from that person, I know that I'm going to be okay. And I am open to the love and the relationship that I want in my life. And she focused on that, she focused on herself being the woman who can have that kind of relationship, who can feel that way because that's who she is. Even though sometimes when we achieve the Sabbath state, our minds still want to obsess or worry about things, okay? What she showed in her email is you have a choice. You can still change this. You don't have to follow your mind and be triggered and react emotionally. You can choose to ground yourself in your self-concept, working on your self-concept or revising things that were triggering you. So you're not going the route of the 3D. You are still creating the new story in your inner world because you're investing, you are becoming aware of something different. Manifestation is an inside job. You manifest what you are. 
So it is very important to prioritize you and your state of consciousness. Put your focus on those things. Work on your self-concept so you can achieve that peace of mind. So you can relax. So you're not feeling always so overwhelmed or so needy and obsessed. So that you can finally understand you are fulfilled. You can be fulfilled in your inner world right now with the story that you want to see pushed out in the 3D. And guess what? It gets pushed out, okay? It happened with this client. It happened with many people out there. And it's going to happen with you too. You guys got this. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and we're going to talk soon. Bye, guys.